as I was putting this video together, I thought, I bet my friends that love drugstore have thought I've gone crazy with all of the new high-end and luxury makeup that I've been trying lately. I really want to incorporate this year both, but drugstore is my first love and it's where I go to and look for things that are every bit as good as high-end. And there are some fabulous things that have hit right now. So I'm gonna start out by talking about something that isn't a new product on the market, but it is a new product to me. There went my glasses. And so this is a specific color of the Milani Baked Blush. This is Rosa, Rose Romantica or Rosa Romantica. I can't remember exactly which, but can you see how light that is? It is super light. This is the prettiest highlighter blush that I have seen in a very long time. I am wearing it today underneath my blush and a tad over my blush and wow, I am in love. This is so pretty. It has every bit the beautiful effect of the blush that we get and we love like Luminoso or Dolce. I think it's Dolce Pink. It has that same beautiful feel to the texture of it, but what's beautiful about it is it's a blush topper and I think it's so great. So it has these beautiful swirls of peach and pink, a little bit of tan in there. It just is, oh my goodness, it's just one of those ones that really gives a lot of light to the skin and I'm so glad that I saw this on the Milani website and grabbed it. I'm gonna check and see if you can get it on Amazon because I have never seen this in any drugstore and it is just gorgeous. I've also fallen in love with this new shade of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. And this one is the Cruel Intentions. It is just the prettiest kind of plummy rose color. I'm gonna pop a little bit extra on. I'm looking in my viewfinder and I'm thinking, Ooh, you look really pale. And it's just because I think the, the lights and everything in here, but I'm gonna pop just a little bit extra of it on so you can see it's so pretty. I really love the blush itself. It's just a great consistency. If you've never had a Super Shock blush before or a shadow before, they are fantastic. There are some that I put over and over again into my yearly favorites. And this one is no exception. It is just beautiful cream to powder formula, very mousse-like. I think that you will really love it. While I have that brush out, let me just pop a tiny bit of that Rose Romantica on top so you can see that is just so pretty on that highlight. I cannot believe how gorgeous that highlight is. Well, it's it's technically called a blush, but I call it a highlight. From Milani also, Milani has their shadow sticks and they are just phenomenal for the way they wear. I use this one and I think it's in Summit. I'm not exactly sure. I never can see the color on here. I don't think they put the colors on here. Anyway, I'll make sure that I throw it up on the screen for you. I use this one in Summit all the time, almost every day on my inner corner because it's just the perfect color to catch the light. Now that one's not new, but they did come out with three new colors and they're gorgeous. First of all, they have this deep, dark, plummy color that is so pretty and it's just gorgeous for lining. If you want to put it on the outer part of your lid right here, you can and then smudge it out. And by the way, you have some time to be able to work with them and smudge them out. And then they have kind of a this is kind of a medium mauve color, has def definite hints of mauve in it, which I love. And then they have this duochrome like purple um purple pink color that shifts through kind of a beautiful oh gosh i don't even know how to explain that it just has this color shift to it so it's at least a duo chrome if it's not a trichrome i can see peach in there and some purple and pink in there it's just very pretty now what's so special about these is that this is a super long wear formula if i let this dry down which i will if i let this dry down and then i come back in a minute and i go to rub it off or i have to, or i want to take it off i'm gonna have to use an oil-based makeup remover to take it off, which is fine with me. I use oil-based to take off all my makeup anyway, but they are stay proof. And I will tell you that the day that my dad got so sick, I was wearing one of these. And when I came home that night, and you can imagine how many tears there were. I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to cry, but you can imagine how many tears there were. And that was still on. I had a waterproof mascara and I had this on a bottom, on a 
on my bottom lashes and when i got home it was still on so that was saying a lot because there were a lot of tears and a lot of tissues wiping across those eyes the concealer the makeup everything was gone but the eyelashes were still there and a little bit of that liner was still there so that was huge i have a primer to share with you this one is very new to me this is from joa i did get quite a few things from joa and i'm going to be incorporating those as i go along I had never tried any of it before, but this one is the Glow Activator Radiance Primer. If you don't know about Joa, it's a K-Beauty brand. This right here is such a good primer. I don't know about it really having a lot of radiance in it, but I do know that when I take it out, you can't even see it there. When I take it out and I start to work it across my skin, First of all, it feels like it has a lot of dimethicone in it, but it's not that way. It is a little bit of an oil. It's a dry oil that works in so well into your skin. And what I love about that is Wayne Goss years ago talked about if you have a foundation that you're having trouble with it looking pretty across your mature skin, put a drop or two of oil in it. That really works like it just makes it look gorgeous. That's what this primer feels like. It is very, very perfecting. It's very smoothing. As I am touching it, it feels so, so smooth. But it's not going to stay that way. It's going to just sink into your skin. It's going to make your skin just have a very soft, focused look to it. So I think this is a very special primer. I do like it very much. And I was wa actually watching Jen Phelps. I don't know if any of you watch her or not, but I was watching her and she was doing her dupes video. And she said that this was a dupe for a YSL primer, which I have never tried, but I do love this. And I think it's something that I will continue to use. I know that a lot of you are going, what about Tatcha, Melissa? You've been talking about Tatcha forever. Tatcha is very different from this. You can definitely feel that Tatcha does have a little bit of dimethicone in it, so it does blur out your pores, but it does have a few hydrating ingredients in it, so it does that as well. So these two are quite different in the way they lay across the skin, although after you feel them on your skin, you feel that silk, that just very touchable, very soft feeling to your skin. So I actually really love this. I feel like there's a place in my makeup for both of them and really have been enjoying that one being new to me. Another thing that is new to me are these lip oils from Catrice. Catrice did send me these so that you know that, the, the Catrice Powerful 5 Glossy Lip Oil. And I want to read the, the five ingredients in here that are powerhouses. Hyaluron, which we know is hyaluronic acid, almond oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. Now I know a lot of people kind of have sensitivity to coconut oil, so heads up if you do, but this, these feel amazing. These are such a great treatment for your lips and at a great price from the drugstore. So if you're somebody that has been wanting a really good balm, a really good treatment, something that really nourish, nourishes your lips, you might love this. And I will put just a little bit on so you can see these all, this does look like it has a little bit of color in them. Actually, none of them have color in them at all. They're just a very glossy balm so that you know that. So you could pick up any of the colors and it was, it's basically the same. The darker colors might, you know, give you a little bit of color, but it's going to be very subtle because most of them are quite sheer. But I love the way this feels. They feel so nourishing, so balmy, and I love putting them over top of a lipstick that might be a little bit more matte. It just helps plump up a lot and really feel like I'm getting some good skincare ingredients for my lips as I use that too. Now these are not new to me, but I wanted to put these in here because I feel like I haven't talked about them enough this year. With Sephora giving the 30% off so much that they did this year, I love these. I absolutely fell in love with these. These are a super shine lipstick from them and I really can't remember what the name of them is. And to tell you the truth, as I'm looking at it, even with my glasses, there's no way for me to see that. So I'm gonna have to look it up and put it on the screen for you. But I want to show you the amount of beautiful shine that these have in them. They are so pretty. I am wearing the pink one, which I'm gonna show you right now. This pink one right here, I am wearing it. I love how super shiny these are, but they have so much pigment in them. 
and I'm a, a shine lip gloss girl. You all know this. I'm from the 80s. We did lip gloss. We did Bonnie Bell. We did Wet n Wild. We did whatever lip gloss we could get our hands on at the time because we love lip gloss. So I think that this is the hybrid perfection of a lip gloss and a lipstick together where you're getting that gorgeous color and they have a million colors of this. There are so many. I love the Sephora collection. I think that it is very underrated. I think that since Sephora has started putting up those sales of 30% off, people are getting into it a lot more. And I do think that, you know, like any brand, they have their hits and misses, but this is definitely a hit. And I think that you would find a color that would work perfect for you. I have a Pixi palette that I've never shown before. I was sent this in PR a long time ago. And for some reason, this got stuck at the back of my drawer. They sent me four different palettes. And this is the one that has finally stood out. And I'm like, oh my goodness, why haven't I been using this? This one is the Pixie and Makeup by Denise. I think it's Denise. Um, Mind Your Own Glow, Find the Light. This has um, nine different glowy colors in it. And I don't know if you've ever had the formula from Pixie before where you have seen their highlighters. They are so creamy and so buttery and so beautiful. And of course, these colors over here, they would be toppers for somebody that is very fair, but they would be beautiful highlighters for somebody with deeper skin, darker skin. This is my dream palette as far as highlighters go. Now, I don't really think that I would be using that gold a whole lot, but this has a little bit of something for everybody, whether you're super fair, whether you're warm, cool, whether you're dark, um, whatever. It has a little bit for everyone, and I have completely lost places to put everything. I'll do that right here for you so you can see a little bit of what that is. These are incredibly beautiful, creamy shades. And this formula from Pixie Beauty is just so pretty. And you're not probably going to be seeing that too well. But for the price, I think this is a great palette. And then I also want to talk really quickly about what I have on my eyes today from ColourPop. And the first thing is the Of Quartz palette. This is such a beautiful palette. And again, they finally are dipping into that cool tone that I love so much. Beautiful tones. There are a few little mauve you know, hints of mauve taupe in here. You have your grays, and then you have that really light color. Let me just swatch a couple of these for you. I am really impressed by this particular palette and how well they did the the mattes in here they're just very creamy i like color pops mattes anyway very creamy very beautiful but this one for some reason really stood out to me about the mattes so i just whoops i got those two a little bit too close together that's okay anyway i just really think that this is a special palette that if you are looking for little bit different neutral tones i think that you will really like this one gorgeous and then on my oh I should have told you. So what I did today was I took this lightest color down here that has just a tiny bit of warmth in it, and it's my transition color. And then that dark color, which is the dark gray, I actually used it a little bit out in the outer corner. And then the, my new palette is called High Tide. This isn't a new release by any means, but this is what I used to create this little bit of an aqua look on my eyes today. And again, ColourPop knocks it out of the park with their formula. They just have the most beautiful formula. I love what they do. Now that's the one that I have on my eyelid today. And then this one right here is the one that I have mixed in with that gray in the outer part. And I took a tiny bit of that bright, bright color that is the aqua right there. And I just popped it right there in the kind of towards the side, but in the center of my eye. And I just love the way that this look turned out today. I'm just loving that palette. Loving both of those mixed mixed in together today was great. And I'm not going to take a lot of time on this one, but my goodness, the Smoke and Roses palette that they came out with very recently this is so pretty. I love this palette because of all of the light colors. ColourPop, even with the Of Quartz palette, 
Let me just show you really quick a side by side here. Look at the difference here. Look at how dark the Of Quartz palette is compared to this. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get some dark looks out of this because you sure can. And that's one thing I do like about um, ColourPop is they're gonna give you those dark sh shades so that you can darken anything up, but they give you the light ones so you can lighten things up too. And when you get a palette like this and you look at it and you go, well, that might not be light enough for me or that might not be dark enough for me, always keep in mind those two opposites that they put in there and they do it for a reason. They want you to be able to lighten something up and they want you to be able to darken something up. And I feel like with the Stone Cold Fox palette and this palette, ColourPop just hit it out of the park. Now I haven't gotten their all matte one, but their mattes are phenomenal. And I can say the same thing about their shimmers and their metallics, they're so good. This palette I have been loving because it is, pinks are a lot of what I wear. I wear a lot of pinks, I wear a lot of purples. I have been doing a lot of neutrals, but I've been loving all of these palettes that I've been getting lately that have so many pinks in them. And they lean just a tiny bit. I mean, you can't even really see it because it's probably a little bit washed out. But these colors here, they're so cool toned and I'm loving that about it. Even these colors up here, the only really warm, warm color that I feel like you have in here is this one. And then the rest of them I feel like are just a dream for people that want a little bit more cool tone and loving that. So that is my roundup for what I have that's new at the drugstore right now that I am in love with and that I'm reaching for all the time and loving. I hope that you did enjoy it. Have you found anything yourself at the drugstore lately? I would love to hear from you. Let's get a conversation going about the differences between maybe high end and drugstore and how we feel about what different things there are. I feel like as I expand my channel into more high end, there are some some things that are high end that you just can't dupe but the drugstore has so many good things that you can try and that are phenomenal. So I wanted to make sure I got all of these new, yummy, fun drugstore makeup items out to you today. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did on your way out of here. Thanks for all of your support. I love you more than you can imagine and I will be talking to you very soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.